Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we uh, built and got approved a pipeline with SageMaker into production. This time we're going to do something more simpler with scikit-learn and no deployment at all, no pipeline. Okay, anyways. Um, so uh, with this data set, the breast cancer classification, but this exact data set... We're going to build and hypertune the parameters of a naive Bayes classifier and nearly perfect it. Okay, diagnosis is going to be our target. Let's go to the notebook. Okay, you're going to unzip it with this command. Then you're going to read the data, dfinfo, and label encoder. And let's look at it. Okay, look at the head. See diagnosis, they're encoded. X equals diagnose, draw everything but diagnosis. Y equals diagnosis. Test train split, standard scalar. And we're going to use a naive, uh, a naive base classifier. At first I was going to do an Adaboost regressor. Okay, so you fit it. Predict it, and then there you go. And then there's the accuracy score, 91%. But here's the important one. The F1 score, the classification report, 86%, which is a great model itself. Only we're going to nearly perfect it. There's the confusion matrix. Okay. Now, uh, here's how you get your parameters for a naive Bayes classifier. Priors and VAR smoothing. We're going to do VAR smoothing. Okay. NP log space, 0 to negative 9. Num round, 100. We're going to G and B in the param grid. A scoring is ROC, AUC, CV10, jobs negative 1. Okay. Fit the X train and Y train. Look at your CV search results. There's your scores. You see all this? One of them was 99%. You see, the split 7 is nearly 99% for test score. The VAR smoothing. You see, guys? There you guys go. Yeah, no deployment, no cloud this time. Just, you can use Jupyter or Google Colab or any other notebook for this. Remember, there's your priors and VAR smoothing. All you need is VAR smoothing. And uh, there you go. We perfected a model. Now again, do not drop any of those columns. And try and experiment with those parameters. See if you can improve it and make it better than mine. And make sure that you use this exact data set. Stay tuned. Guys, next time we're going to build a convolutional neural network. Just a simple one, uh, multi-class or binary, I haven't decided yet because I haven't done that in a while. And after that, we're going to get back on the cloud with SageMaker. Eventually, when I um, start getting enough views, enough subscribers, I'm going to get on Google Cloud, back on Google Cloud, only I'm going to deploy pipelines with Kubeflow and KServe on AI Vertex, which just came out. Kubernetes based. Those things are not cheap to deploy and run. Believe me, on Google Cloud it gets expensive. Okay, guys, but not for data. That's why Google Cloud is actually uh, better suited if you're dealing with terabytes of data. S3 buckets will get expensive. Although when you guys uh, start working, you guys will realize that too. Your employer is footing the bill. Okay, anyways. Hope you guys learned from this video. Stay tuned. 
Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.